Welcome to another episode of AI Late to Class. There's a new trajectory motion model out called Wan Move. So this is where you use a spline to guide the path of motion for camera movements or the movement of an object from a reference image. I have shown this before in my very first video, ATI Trajectory Based Motion, which also used WAN 2.1, and in my other video, WAN Fun Base 2.2. This model is denser and has finer trajectory than ATI and it has a better video quality output than Funbase. As usual, I'll show you what models you need to download and my samples, so stay around. What I suggest first is watch this original video, WAN 2.1 ATI trajectory based motion, because it goes through the detail of using the spline and how the model works. And then come up here and watch the WAN 2.2 Funbase, because this one still has its place things that the one move model can't do. If you don't know anything about ConfVI, come and install this here. On the GitHub page for one move, scroll down and have a look at the examples. Multi-object motion, so being able to move multiple things. Complex motion, object plus camera motion. These ones underneath are a little less likely to be able to achieve in this ConfVI version, but we might be able to get this done later on. There is some comparators over here, but however, they do use Kling 1.5 and not 2.6 as an example. If you already have the normal WAN set up within ConfVI, all you need to do is download this model here. When you've downloaded that model, put it in your Diffusion Models folder and ConfVI Models folder and load it in here. You also need this ClipVision H model, which will go in your ClipVision folder. You'll need this WAN 2.1 VAE, which will go in your VAE folder, and this UMT5 XXL, etc. That'll go in your text encoder folder. You'll need this light x2v in this particular version which is the rank 128 and that'll go in your LoRa's folder these are all in your ConfVI models folder and i'll have the link to all of these in the comments as you saw at the start this also does long length trajectory movement this is where you put in your frame length here above that you've got your normal width and height so there's your width of 832 and height 480 first thing we need to do is upload our image over here right click here and click background image this one's already got my splines on here. You can click them and you can move these points around to what you want. If you're putting them over here, then it's going to pick up that that's probably meant for camera movement because if there's no objects, that's the way it sort of thinks. But if you attach it to an object, that's when it knows it's the object that's got to move. When you right click, you can add a new spline or delete the current spline or you can add those points. See, I've removed one point from there. I had the arrows on her hands pointing upwards, but I didn't mention that in the prompt. You try and keep the prompt very simple so it doesn't do other things. If you're having problems with out of memory, you can move this block swap up. I didn't ask you to touch her here, but this came out all right anyway. In this next sample, I just wanted the woman to levitate, so I've got this arrow pointing upwards on a sort of curve. And if we come over here, here's my prompt, woman levitates. And let's have a look at that. That's an excellent result. So in this other example, I had the witch flying, the cats going into battle, and the camera moving as well. Just like the other video I did in ATI, you've got to run it and then wait for the green box to go around here. Once you've seen that, click on the X and stop it. Arrange your splines and then press run again. Hope this is of use to you. Write something in the comments about your results. Like and subscribe my videos. Watch all the old videos and we'll see you in the next one.